Okay, folks, coming back at you here on the CH Granger channel. As you can see right there, right next to my door of my equipment trailer, is a uh, hornet's nest started. And I just about got popped. I uh, opened this door. I seen it before I opened the door. But uh, when I opened the door, I let my handle slam the handle there on the metal rod I let it drop and when I did yeah one of them came out pretty aggressive and I took off running as I usually do but anyway I'm gonna go find some spray and I, I typically want to do this in the evening or at night but I don't have I've got to get in my trailer here to get busy so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go find something to kill this and and hope that the ones wandering around out here don't you see one come out there just now I'm hoping that there's not many in this nest and then I can catch that one when he comes back here in a minute and give him a good spray but uh, I'm charging my battery on my my good camera my Canon so I'm gonna have to do a little video here with my phone which it, it makes pretty good video what I got going here is this is about a 16 foot log that I've cut six by eight beam that I'm gonna cut down and and do some uh, I've got to mold this thing into my log for my home so uh, what I'm gonna do let me walk up here to this end what I'm gonna do is come in here you can see got some checking going on pretty significant actually um, that is going to be on the inside that's the let's see get my finger in line here that's the eight dimension right there that direction that's going to be up and down the log will actually be flipped 90 degrees from the way it's laying here when I when I place it to stack these for my house but uh anyway what I'm going to do here and uh right down the middle kind of like where uh, the, the check the crack is there up on this uh, six side here up on this I'll flip the log up 90 and then we'll pretend right now that I did that and right here where this crack is down the center of that six inch dimension I'm gonna cut a three-quarter by inch and a half groove in each log down the center and that's where I'll put a spline I'm gonna cut uh, I may cut poplar but I'll probably cut an oak spline three-quarter wide and uh, by inch and uh, actually it'd be three inches deep because it's gonna be an inch and a half in each log but I'll cut me a spline and that'll be down the middle of these joining them together uh, they'll also be dowed together with uh, rebar I think is the method I'm going to use right now but uh, what we're going to do right now once I can get this hornet problem solved is I'm going to come in here with a uh, I'm going to try a method of uh, giving these logs a hewn look short of the, the traditional pioneer method of hewning it with a, an axe or a tool made to hewn a log you a log um, I'm going to I'm gonna try something different I'm gonna show you here in just a little bit I don't want to lose I don't want to end up with stitches or lose a leg trying to do do it the old-fashioned way plus it'd be very time-consuming for me because I'm not a I'm not a professional at that but uh, anyway all right I'm gonna pause this here for a second I'm gonna go find some spray to kill the hornets with and get in my trailer and get some tools I need and I'll be right back at you. Thanks for watching.